Good evening. Hello. I hope everyone is doing very, very well. Happy Saturday to you, Saturday night. It is May 14th. We're kind of in the middle of the month. And boy, does it feel like, I have to say, it feels almost like summer is here. Now, I know we still have a month and a half to go before summer gets here, but it's warm, it's hot, it's feeling humid, and I feel like going to the beach. I don't know about you, but I feel like going to the beach. <clears throat> but anyway, here we are. It's Saturday night. Thank you so very much for being here tonight. This is part three of my Answer Plus Plus three-step system. Two weeks ago, we worked with part one, which is the Answer Plus Plus basics. Last week, we worked with mind mapping. And this week, we're going to bring it all together and work with the 30-second non-stop speaking training. And I really believe, I know, that if you want to be a great conversationalist, you have to focus solely on preparing for your conversations that you're going to have. I think it's great studying from a book, studying vocabulary, studying grammar. Those are great ways to learn foundational skills for speaking well. But in terms of being able to express yourself with your information, your stories, your opinions, your ideas, you really need to focus and prepare. And the three step method that I've created, I feel, and past class uh, participants feel, have helped people move forward in their speaking, which is a great thing. So what I'm going to do right now is check the chat and see what's going on. It was a little bit idle. Fabulous. All right, super. So Yoshiko, hello. <laughs> it's great to see you here. Um, it looks like <laughs> excellent. All right, so I'm going to continue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to screen share. And that way, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So let's begin the screen share. Wonderful. Now our answer plus plus, we've been working with the basic practice worksheet. What I would like to do before we get into the logistics of doing this is I would like you to just try a 30 second practice. Now, if you are in a coffee shop or if you're on the train watching this, <clears throat> excuse me, or if you're on the train watching this, excuse me, then you can do this in your head. If you're in a room with family members, you can do it in your head or you can all practice together. We're going to do it three times. And what we'll do is just get you a feeling for where you are and how you do at 30 second nonstop speaking. And we'll try it three times. So we have these questions. Did you catch a cold this winter? Are you making plans for Golden Week? Have you ever been to the United States? Now this one you can change to, did you? You can use the past tense for it, which is fine. So what I'd like you to do is choose one of these questions and we're just going to speak, you're just going to speak for 30 seconds. So I'm going to set the timer. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, begin. Good. Keep talking. 
Just anything that pops into your head. Anything. Keep going. Keep going. More. More. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Yes. That is 30 seconds. I have complete confidence and faith that at some point, 30 seconds is going to be too short. You will want one minute. All right. Perfect. So let's do it again. This is number two. Are you ready? Same question. Same question, not a different question. Choose the same question. Go. Good. Same question. Keep going. A little more. Good. Keep talking. Keep talking. Everything is okay. You can say anything. Keep going. Keep going. Great. Oh, excellent. Okay, let's try that again. This is the last one because we do it three times. Same question. You're working with the same question. All right, ready? Go. Same question. Keep going. Keep going. Perfect. Same question. Keep going. Great. Keep going. A little more. <laughs> There you go. All right, good. So we're working with the nonstop speaking, and I have a quote from um, Norman Vincent Peale. And his quote is repetition. And repetition is repeating. Repetition is repeating, saying the same thing or doing the same thing. Sports players, actors, actresses, uh, business people, you repeat the same thing over and over again. It's never the same. It's always a little different, but you're repeating the idea. And through repetition, this makes you stronger. It makes you able to easily do what you want to do. And what you want to do is you want to be a competent, great conversationalist. And in speaking English, it's almost like giving a mini speech sometimes. If you watch interviews or if you hear interviews with English speakers, it's a mini speech a lot of the times. And that's what you want to at least know how to do. It doesn't mean you will give long long answers every time. So in order to do this practice, you're going to use your mind map. And you'll use a starting point. So I'll show you the mind map. Let's see what we've got here. I think this one works here. So if you've got your mind map, you're going to designate a starting point. So my starting point would be the ballet workshop. Then you're going to decide which direction to continue in. So my start point is the ballet workshop, and I'm going to go to Japan, and then to my brothers and cousins, and then to my first formal dinner. And every time, I'll use the start point each time, and I'll use this direction each time. So one, two, three. 
because you want it to become easier. If you're always choosing a different start point, you're never going to be comfortable. So you want to choose the same start point, the same direction, and use that for your practice. And you want to set your timer for 30 seconds and begin and continue speaking until the timer beeps and do it again at least two more times, at least two more times. So let's work with something new. Now, what I have here, I have some answer plus pluses, and these are for some idioms. Hit the nail on the head, raining cats and dogs, fish out of water. So what we focused on the first week was that you can take anything you're studying and you can make that an answer plus plus practice. So I chose fish out of water. Now I will send you these papers. So you're going to get these papers um, tomorrow. I'll send you the PDFs for everything that we worked with today. So you'll be able to do this on your own or you'll have examples for yourself. So fish out of water. I took a ballet workshop in Kyoto. 99% of the people in the class had a ballet background. I felt like a fish out of water. <laughs> this is true. This was after the earthquake in Kobe, and I felt like challenging myself. I called and I asked, is a beginner okay? And the woman said, yes, yes, yes. Well, this ballet teacher was came from France to teach the class and he did not seem happy that I was in the class. He was he did not smile. <laughs> or maybe that's French, I don't know. Okay, so step 1 is our answer plus plus and we're using fish out of water. So what I would do then is I would have my mind map and I would designate this the first point now if we were going to use um, if we were going to use whoops <laughs> great so we have it here and this is in our Ruzuku classroom which makes it easy because everything's in the same place and what I would do is I would record this so that I could do it three times and that I could see how I do with this practice. So I'm going to go to the lessons and to the nonstop speaking. And then, of course, you want to have your online timer, or you can use um, your iPhone, you can use a kitchen timer, you can use any timer you want. And it's always best, you can use an audio program, you can use your smartphone audio, you know, you can record yourself and just listen to yourself, that's fine. But you really do need to be able to listen to yourself because that's going to help you get better. And many people are shy about listening to themselves, but it really is the best way to improve is to listen to yourself. So what I would do is I would this is Chrome go to here and I'm in Chrome so Chrome can record and I am going to record myself doing this so this is number one there we go okay and I can put this down here and this is my practice
Um, fish out of water. I took a ballet workshop. I took it in Kyoto. And the level was supposed to be all levels, but it was turned out to be advanced. It was at the French Culture Center. I'm glad I did it, but it was kind of scary. Um, I feel like a fish out of water in Japan, especially being an American, because it's the opposite of the United States. The Japanese have a lot of patience. Okay, so I got this far. So I'm going to do this again. Fish out of water. I took a ballet workshop. I took it in Kyoto. I took it at the French Culture Center. The level was advanced, even though they said any level was okay. In Japan, I often feel like a fish out of water. The Japanese have patience and they're quiet kind of the opposite of the United States. So it's been hard sometimes. With my brothers and my cousins, I feel like a fish out of water. I'm the only one who likes to go, okay, good, so we've made it close. We'll try this again. And having it timed makes you speed up naturally. And speed is good for fluency. So we'll do a last practice here. Oop. Fish out of water. I took a ballet class in Kyoto. It was from the French Culture Center. The level was supposed to be all levels, but it was really only a it just seemed advanced. Japan, I feel like a fish out of water. Everyone has patience and is quiet. It's the opposite of the United States. My brothers and my cousins, uh, I'm the only one who likes going overseas. They're all in finance and accountants, and I'm an artist. I do performing. My first formal dinner. Okay, great. So one more time, and I'd probably make it all the way around. And then I would go back to here. Stop. And it's going to upload. And the reason I'm showing you this in the classroom is because those of you who are interested after the fourth week, next week is our last seminar and we're doing the five ways to say it and after the fourth week you'll have a chance to just for free uh, and i'll help you with it you'll have a chance to work with the answer plus plus um, system and to get free coaching from me so fish out of water um, i love ballet i really do love ballet but i like a nice teacher he was very good. Oh my goodness. I felt it was a three day workshop. At the end of the workshop, I felt so tall. We stretched. I cannot tell you how much we stretched. It was amazing. So here's where I'm able to um, see myself and what I'm doing. Um, fish out of water. I took a ballet workshop. I took it in Kyoto. And use your mind map. Using your mind map is really important for training. Now, of course, when you're in conversation, you're not going to have a mind map. <laughs> All right, so let's continue. I just want to make sure everybody is there and you've refreshed your page. If I could just get a Oh, you're fresh now. Okay, thank you, Yoshiko. Yoshiko has refreshed and she can see me. Ah, great. I'm feeling refreshed. Excellent. Now the only thing is if my um I have 16% battery left on my computer. <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! All right, so I'm going to uh screen share again so that we can kind of get back to what we were talking about and studying. Oh, you got it. Okay, great. Thank you. That's excellent. It's nice to have everybody here. Now, what happens if you have a mind map like this and you're doing 30 seconds? This mind map has just a little bit of information. So let's see what would happen. We'll clear it and start. And its secret ingredient to curry is chocolate. Oh no, low battery. Okay, I think I'm gonna to have to move. So I am going to move. Boy, this is one of those nights where I had it planned perfectly 
and now it's, it's one of one of those crazy 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 nights okay so what i'm doing right now is i'm just moving my computer over to a battery source um there we go excellent so what happens if your mind map is not so big if it doesn't have much information then what you're going to do is it's a little bit more of a challenge but a challenge is good and what you'll do is when you finish all of this information you're just going to say whatever pops into your head you can go anywhere with it so let's start i'm going to start with uh secret ingredient is curry is chocolate I'm going to start with Indian. Remember, we choose one place to start, and then I'm going to go around this way. So I'll always go Indian, vegan, natto, Indian, vegan, natto. So we'll start. Um, I had Indian food for the first time when I came to Japan. Usually in the United States, I ate Mexican. Now, vegan chocolate is what I like to eat, vegan cakes too, that use coconut oil. And I love to have chocolate with espresso. Um, secret ingredients I often use with things that I cook, ingredients people won't. Okay, good. Let's try this again. So secret ingredient to curry is chocolate. I had Indian food for the first time when I came to Japan. Usually in California, I ate Mexican or Chinese. And the chocolate that I like is vegan chocolate. It doesn't use animal products. Now, I do eat dairy sometimes, but I prefer to go vegan. And cakes and coconut oil with chocolate are delicious. And I like espresso with my chocolate. Okay. I had Indian food for the first time when I came to Japan. Um, usually I eat Mexican food. I like vegan chocolate, uh, vegan cakes that use coconut oil, and I love to have espresso with my chocolate. Now, natto, I use secret ingredients. I use pineapple and balsamic and olive oil. It's delicious. Now, Indian food, one of my friends posted on Facebook that he made a curry with chocolate and he posted a picture and I was shocked. So if your mind map has just a little bit of information and you get to number three and you still have time, then you can jump to anyone and just start speaking. Now, the key point that I really want to make clear to you as I push clear, clear, is that this is not a test. This is a study that you are doing on your own. So no one is judging you. No one is saying you can't do it that way. That's, this is a study that you can do on your own to improve your speaking practice. And I love that. I love that it's three steps that you can do to improve your speaking practice. Oh, the charts, oh, I'm sorry, Motoko, thank you. You know what? That's a really great point. The chart is so small, I cannot really see it well. Motoko-san, thank you so much. What I'll do too is I will be sending you the charts tomorrow so you will have those yeah you will definitely have those tomorrow so that you can see those but thank you i mean sometimes i don't really realize um what you can or can't see so that's excellent thank you for telling me that and yeah so answer plus plus again remember it's the three steps it's the basics so you're working slowly up to 30 seconds of non-stop speaking 
It's the basics, answer plus plus, and then it's mind mapping. This is your answer plus plus, and then it's mind mapping. This is the chart here. And then it's mind mapping. And the beauty of it is that it's all your information. Everything about it is from inside of you. And as I said before, studying with books, studying with NHK, studying with vocabulary and grammar, keep doing that. But also, Make sure that you have some study time devoted for improving your conversation, not memorizing. And that is why I use a mind map. The mind map, bring it here. It's a training device. It's a memo so that you can focus on your speaking. Now, I'm going to send you I'm going to send you this PDF also and I'm going to have it in Japanese so that you'll have the English and the Japanese. Um, did I translate it? No. Yoshiko is going to translate it. Thank you, Yoshiko. <laughs> I would have to use Bing Translator, and you it probably wouldn't come out well at all. So the mind map is the training device, and it's a memo you can focus on. And it's so that you're not memorizing. You're just seeing a word, and you're working with the grammar and vocabulary that is inside of you. Now, what I would recommend that you do also is that once you've done the three steps and the three pro and then you've done the three practices for example fish out of water what i would have you do then as a challenge is you could either add time and go for one minute or two minutes or you could put your mind map away and just start um so I felt like a fish out of water when I was in Kyoto for a ballet workshop. It was a three-day workshop. It was after the earthquake in Kobe, and I felt like challenging myself. But everyone was advanced, so I had a difficult time. I feel like a fish out of water in Japan because I'm loud and kind of animated, and the Japanese are very quiet and patient. So once you've done your three steps, the answer plus plus, and then you've done the mind map, and then you've done your three times practice, you've given yourself a lot of time and a lot of experience so that then you can challenge yourself with no notes, no paper, and you can record yourself or not record yourself, but you're working with your ability. You're working with your ability to, um, oh, <laughs> did you see that? I almost did it again. Oh my goodness. I think I would have cried, but that's okay. Crying's not a bad thing. So yeah, I had to change um, positions because the plug is over here. but. Anyway, so you're working with your ability. Uh, you're improving your ability with those three steps. So you do the answer plus plus basic, the chart, make the chart. It's so easy to do that. And you can check your dictionary. You can check grammar. You can ask if you have a Skype teacher or if you have a classroom that you go to and take lessons in. You can ask your teacher, is this sentence right? You know, is this okay? Or you can just trust it. Then your second step is the mind map, putting anything that pops into your head that is connected to what you're talking about. And you've seen my mind maps. Sometimes you just think, wow, how did she get that? But that's the way our mind works. It branches off. And that's what I want you to be doing. Then your third step is what we've talked about tonight. 
and that's recording yourself and recording yourself you know not to get a score not to pass a test but just to see how you're doing it's a great way for you to watch yourself and go oh i need to speak faster or oh i go um 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 a lot or oh uh i need more vocabulary or you know it's a great way in a nice way not a bad way don't yell at yourself oh i, I can't do it no i was thinking last week about the word difficult and i thought you know i'm not sure i agree with difficult maybe it's just advanced oh that's advanced i'm not at that level yet whereas advanced is something to reach for advanced is something that's possible but if you say that something is difficult oh it's difficult it's difficult i mean when i say it my whole body goes Ugh. but when i go oh that's advanced i kind of feel like it's advanced but i'm that's where i'm headed that's where i'm going so what i would like you to do is start taking difficult out of your thoughts about english because that makes you feel stressed and it makes you feel like you'll never ever be able to succeed if you put in oh that's advanced that's where i'm going i i don't know it's just my opinion this was my last week i was thinking and i thought oh difficult no difficult no i mean nothing is really difficult it's just advanced and that's where you're headed so that's my big revelation my big thinking and for my life too i'm really working on taking difficult out of my vocabulary um and just replacing it with advanced so try it try it with some things that happen this week if you find yourself saying oh that's difficult go wait a minute is that advanced and i'm headed there so just a little bit of time and it'll be okay so just a thought about difficult versus advanced so let's go back to what we did at the beginning of the um, broadcast and if you have a piece of paper you can make a little mind map i'll give you um 30 seconds right now make a little mind map and let me oh i hope i didn't click off of these i don't think i did there we go uh so we had either did you catch a cold this winter are you making plans for golden week and let me share my screen with you thank you so much for continuing <laughs> again i am very sorry this little stop broadcast i think i'm going to write to google and i'm going to say you know could you put this over here or something put it here why don't they just put it over here yeah i'm writing to google tomorrow and saying that this has caused me difficulties i can't imagine i'm the only one who pushes this during a broadcast maybe i am who knows all right so let me share share my screen with you <laughs> all right so here we are and i'll make sure i've got my timer here there we go my trusty timer i love this timer and i found a way to embed it on my website too oh man i tell you so much fun just makes life so interesting Ooh, what's that this is not so stable there we go okay there we go okay so we started with 30 seconds and either did you catch a cold this winter did you make plans for golden week have you ever been to the united states choose the same make a little mind map if you can if you have paper there or start thinking about a mind map in your head 
about one of these. I'll give you 30 seconds to make a mind map or start thinking about what you want to say. And your mind map can be very small, just a little piece of paper that you've got. It can be the back of a receipt that you may have, or it can be in your head. Start thinking of a mind map in your head. Did you catch a cold this winter? You know, no friend went to hospital or mother got sick or son or daughter got sick. Or... Okay, good. So let's try again that 30 seconds speaking. Choose the same question and see if you do a little bit better after the discussion about mind maps and speaking. Are you ready? Begin. Begin. Good. Just keep talking because it's your story. Just keep going. Everything is okay. That's the greatest thing because it's your response. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yay! <laughs> All right. Yay. Okay. Wow. That's fun. Okay. And let me come back here. Oh, gosh. That stop broadcast gets me almost every time. Stop screen sharing. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. That's all I need are some nightmares. All right, let me see if I've got the uh, website so that I can check. Oh, here we go. Okay, good. Let's see if there are any comments. Yeah, yeah, if you have any, Yoshiko, thank you. If you have any questions, um, any questions at all, Please write to conversationkatie at gmail.com and you can write in Japanese too. Yoshiko, thank you so much for putting that there. Let's see if we have any, any other comments. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to, if I can, take both videos and edit them and put them in together. I think I should be able to download them and then make just one video. So that'll be a lot easier for people to watch. And next week, we're going to be doing, um, we'll be working with my five ways to see it, to say it. So it'll show you how to use the website weekly to get free training and free practice and improve your conversation skills weekly with the free training and the steps that you can take using my website. I, I think conversation and communication, they're so much fun and they're so important. And the world is becoming smaller and our connections are growing as we come into contact with more and more people throughout the world. And as the internet and as travel makes, as I said before, our world smaller, but our network's growing. And at this time in history, we have no idea about the future. At this time in history, it is the English language that is recognized as a worldwide language. It's just a tool. It, it's not a big deal because at one time it was, I guess, Italian or it was Greek or you know, it, it's it's been different for different time periods. And just at this time, it is. Oh, oh, Tama, Tamao. Okay, that's okay. We'll um we'll get you straightened out. So yeah, that's all you need to do is just think about English as a tool, as a tool for your business or for travel or for anything that you want it to be. 
Again, I appreciate you so much being here. Thank you so very much. Have a wonderful evening. If you have any final comments or questions, I'll be in the chat for um, a couple of minutes to say hello or answer any questions that you have. Thank you for your patience <laughs> dealing with my, uh, uh, yes, <laughs> turning this stop broadcast button off or, uh, yeah, and then turning the video off. So again, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your time and I appreciate your interest in learning English and wanting to have exciting connections and communications with people from all over the world. It's, I think, a very exciting time to be alive and to, gosh, the possibilities, uh, start your own business or travel here and there or connect with people online and have discussions about the environment, about peace, about anything. So, yes, next week is the last part. It's part four, and I'm looking forward to it. And we'll be working with uh, five ways to say it. So take care and have a good one. And thank you so very much again. Bye. <laughs>